until that chat with Alfie that I mentioned, mm. I, I, cu- I couldn't speak about this. It yeah. was like a, just like a, like a secret really, yeah. just a big secret. On your content at the moment, like you've been putting out an awful lot. It looks like you're, looks like you're on a roll, being very productive. Mm. Um, obviously, big news with the Spotify deal as well. Congratulations. Mm. Thank on you, mate. Well deserved. You can see just from the outside, you can see how much work you put into it. But, um, alongside that, how has your headspace been? Because um, for me, I was saying to Johnny behind the camera here, um, when things are going well for me, mm. I feel there is like there's something awful around the corner. Yeah. Um, that's just how my mind works. No, not, not everyone gets that. But mm-hmm. how, has, how has your headspace been with that? Um, yeah, good. I mean, I just, I just, it was coming into the, into this year, like mm. we didn't know what was around the corner. Like we didn't know COVID was just around the corner, but I had a bit of a bit of a shit year last year where no, nothing really bad happened in my life, mm-hmm. but just mental health took over and, um, just had a bit of a shit year and I wasn't very productive. I spent too many hours in the pub and I was just wasting my weekends. That would, that would sort of bleed into Monday and Tuesday. And mm-hmm. I just wasn't as productive as I could have been. So when January hit this year, I was like, I made a conscious decision to go, okay, whether or not I'm up for doing the main channel, the podcast, I'm going to just smash it. And that's what I did. So it's like every, it helps as well because I have to go to London. So every single Thursday we book it in. I've, yeah. I've never really been any, somebody that can have a structure. Mm-hmm. So I've been very, very lucky in my life that I've always been able to work for myself and do YouTube when I want, wake up when I want, go to bed when I want. There's these little luxuries that like I did take for granted for a long time. Yeah. But um but yeah, having a structure, having a Thursday, booking that out, it does help. It does help when perhaps your head isn't in the right space. I do need that little bit of like, well, I've got to go tomorrow. And I'll tell you what else has helped me is at the start of the year, I, I brought Fiona, my fiance, on full time, brought Alfie on part time. Mm. When you have people that actually rely on you, you can't just bin it off for a, yeah. f- for a month or so. So, so, th- so, th- so that really helped. And then I'm kind of like, can't, I've, I'm kind of now sort of getting the rewards from it now. Mm-hmm. What with the Spotify thing. So, so yeah, um, I can't really remember what your question was. Um, just sort of how's your headspace been, really? <laughs> right. Yeah. It yeah. Much? I think it's all sort of that. It's all every just every little thing is helping. The other things, if that makes sense, yeah, so get, getting yeah. them on has helped me be more productive. Mm-hmm. The schedule, so yeah, right now it's, it's it's all good, mate. It's all good. Mm-hmm. And even when I'm not feeling productive enough to do the main channel or or driven enough, I know I still have to do that mm-hmm. that side project, which has very much become a main project now. Anyway, yeah. so yeah, yeah, happy days. Um, I would I'll come back onto that. I want to mm-hmm. talk about the the dynamic you've got there, working with friends and, and Fiona, mm-hmm. and the passion that you've clearly got on the podcast. But sticking on on the mental health theme. Um, you've spoken about uh, like having health anxiety and OCD yeah. in the past. Um, do you do you know what sort of triggers these things at the moment? Do you know? I'm, I'm sort of just interested to hear how what causes these reactions and how they sort of play out in your mind, and if you're better at like dealing with it now. I'm I'm better at dealing with it, but I still have just as many kind of triggers uh, right. as as ever mm-hmm. it's just it's just I think I don't know if it's with age or like Alfie's helped me a lot because because. Yeah. Before I met, Al- I, I met Alfie. A lot of people think we've been mates for years. I met him about a year and a month ago, so it's not long at all. And then we went on a little trip to to um, Liverpool for Halloween. And at this point, I don't even think I'd mentioned it on the podcast much with what mm. I struggled with, like with the OCD and stuff. And then we had a long journey back. Fiona fell asleep in the back of the car. Alfie was in the front, barely knew him at the time, and we just had a long, long chat. And he t- he opened up about his OCD, and I didn't really open up about mine in detail, but I was kind of thinking whoa, fuck, that makes sense. That makes sense. That's so similar to me. So from that moment, I was like, he told he, he told me how much it helped him talking about his problems. Mm. So I then actively started to talk about mine. And even now, as I just said, I still get just as many triggers. I feel like I, I can deal with them a lot more now. So I have all these different things. I explained this to Fiona the other day, but with the OCD, it can be a hundred little things at once. So it might be, I might go for a period of time where I can't have that book there. It needs to be on the table fully. There can't be right. any of it over. But like I, ha- I had one recently and I've had it for years where I can't, I can't put my phone off at night unless it's on a round number. So if it, so, so it has to be like 1am or 1.15 or 1.30, 1.45. Mm-hmm. And then a couple of weeks ago, I started, I thought, right, I can't just, and to anyone who doesn't have OCD, this sounds like probably a bit crazy. Like, no, I, I, I'm, Yeah, no, yeah. I understand it. But like the only way I can... I can sort of relate to that is like when people 
do they just sort of say it in a blase fashion is that like, oh I can't have the, the volume on an, on an even right, number, yeah, but that's yeah. like the the go to one that everyone seems to use yeah yeah and and I mean this one's quite quite a go to as well but like so Fiona like she often says like oh I'm a bit OCD about that and then she goes oh sorry I didn't mean to say it like that and mm. it's like I don't give a shit because that is an easy way people can explain how they feel about certain things yeah. like um it's more probably superstition than anything when people say I can't have that on on a, like the volume on a certain number. I have loads of little things like that, but then I also have big things that proper like eat at me and mm -hmm. stuff like having to walk in and out of a room five, ten times certain yeah. amount. But going back to the time thing, in my head I was like, right, I know I can't stop doing this, but it's pissing me off because if I'm in if I'm a bed and I'm tired and it's one oh one, I've got to wait fourteen minutes before I can turn my phone off and I'm shattered. So I'm just like, oh it's annoying. So what I trained myself to do was to go, okay, well one oh five is a nice round number. I'll go to one oh five. And then I got to one oh five, turned it off. And at first you 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 feel all this kind of like anxiety. It's like I've got to look at my phone again. It might be one fifteen. Mm. But instead of just completely trying to stop it, I went for that other route of going 105 is okay. And now I don't have it at all. So I'll look and it'll be 104 and I'll go, right, just get it off. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. So it's like step by step, just trying to find an yeah, easier yeah, yeah. way out of that that OCD. So but, you're, you're sort of trying to change the, you, you want to be controlling your brain in that aspect rather than at the moment, or it's getting to that point where you're controlling it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You. I want to make the rules. Yeah. Like, yeah, which, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, that's interesting to hear because I've, I've never... I don't, I don't experience OCD. I experience anxiety. So it's, it's a very, very different thing, but sometimes they sort of interchange. Mm -hmm. Have you ever, I know Joe Weller asked you about this on your podcast, but do you think you would ever get professional help or see like a, a therapist or a psychologist about that sort of thing? It's weird because I've had a lot of heated debates with a lot of my friends when I've, when I've opened up about this. And this is the most frustrating thing because mm. for me, with my health anxiety. So for anyone who doesn't know, I have like really bad set, um, health anxiety because I found a lump on my testicles when I was younger and being like, uh, I think I'm, I can't, I can't even remember maybe 12, 13, something yeah. like that. I found it at, at nighttime. So I had to, and I think I had to wait all night shit myself. Like, what is this? What yeah. is this? And I think that night was the worst night of my life because if I'd found it at like, say in the morning, I'd just go straight to the doctors. You don't mm -hmm. have that worry. You don't have that trauma. Yeah. But because I had it all through the night, it really kind of, it really seeped in. Mm -hmm. Um, sorry, what was your question? Cause I, about, um, have you considered like getting, getting uh, help for it? Right. Yeah. Yeah. And because that, because I had that whole night of worrying about going to the doctors, I now have a phobia of going to the doctors. So when it comes to speaking to a therapist and stuff, I, exp I explained it to my friend the other night is it's like the shutters have just come down. Yeah. So this sounds crazy. I, I, I hope I'm not being inconsiderate when I say crazy. I just don't no, know. No, any, I don't no, mean no, it. I know like, what you mean. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, but, I have no other way to explain it really. But if if somebody said to me tomorrow, like my worst fear, and they were like, yeah, you are ill, like you've got cancer. Mm. If you go to the hospital, it can be sorted. I wouldn't go because right. I physically couldn't go. And it's not, you could sit here now and, and tell me, well, just go, just go, mate. But I can't. It's like a mental block. It's yeah. a mental block. And the only way to unlock that it's to see a therapist, but it's a similar okay. block for me. Yeah. So it's all sort of mashed up in my head. What I'm doing now, which really helps now, is stuff like this, having yeah. this talk, speaking to Joe Weller, speaking to Fiona. They're my therapy sessions. Mm -hmm. So I hope if I keep doing enough of them, it will then help me unlock that other bit where I can actually speak to a professional yeah. about it. Well, I hope that you I hope that you will continue making progress there because that's something that I that I'm quite passionate about is people going to get professional help for mental health problems because yeah. For a while, there was a stigma. I feel like that stigma is, is broken down or I'm in a, just a better place with it now. But mm -hmm. if you have a bad back, you go to a chiropractor. If you're sick, you go to a doctor. A lot of people don't understand that that translates into your head. It's, it's mental fitness that you have to focus on. Mm -hmm. um, okay, so that, that's good. I'm glad that I've got, I've got you on and you've you feel like this is helping you sort of get a little bit closer. Yeah, that, mate. Yeah. Aspect. Literally it was like until, until that chat with Alfie that I mentioned, mm. I, I, I couldn't speak about this. It yeah. was like a, just like a, like a secret really, yeah. just big secret. Now I don't, I don't care. So mm. it, although I know I can't, I'm not ready to take it to that next level, just being able to chat about it. Like, I've only met you today, but yeah. I'm not ashamed of anything. Like yeah, I can just talk about good. it. And, and I hope like, just by us talking about it, there'll be people out there that might suffer from mm. similar things and talking about it is step one, right? So yeah, if, if you can yeah. do, if you can do that, then, then hopefully you can move on to those other levels.